Hello boys and girls. This lesson is math for today. I want you to first notice that we are only going to be doing day one. So for day one, there are only four questions. The first question is 97 plus 75. Some kids are very good at doing addition in their heads. I'm going to ask that you do not do this in your head. Separate your ones and your tens. Seven plus five. What is seven plus five? It is 12. There is two ways you can do this. You can just write the number 12 here or you can put your two in the ones place and carry your 10 because 12 has one 10 and two ones. Now we need to add our tens place. Now as I'm thinking about this, I have one 10, nine tens, which is 90 and 70. So 90 plus 10 is 100, 100 plus seven, is 170. So 172 is your answer. I ask that you underline your pertinent details. When you get these huge problems, it's hard to tell what they are asking you to do. So as I read, I'm going to underline what I think is important. On Monday, Sarah read 24 pages of her book. Hmm, so I know that 24 pages is going to be important. And I see a Tuesday down here, so I'm gonna underline Monday. On Tuesday, she read 41 pages. Wednesday, she read 32 pages. How many pages did Sarah read all together? Now, all together, as of right now, means to add. This is a fluid concept because all together may mean to do something else. But as of right now, you have only heard all together meaning adding. So, 24 plus 41 plus 32. Once again, I know some of you love to do mental math. I do not want you to do mental math here. So what I do is I just take my problem in this space provided over to the side. 24, 41, 32. And I'm going to add it up. I separate my ones and my tens. Eventually, you will not have to do that, but for now, please practice it. Four plus one is five. Five plus two is seven. Two plus four is six. Six plus three is nine. So my sum is 97. What time is shown on the clock? I need to know the time on the clock. The hour hand is the small hand. So it is, if I point, it goes somewhere in between the three and the four, which means it is three o'clock. From there, you count by fives unless you already know this. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It is 3.30. The final question for today is 18 minus five. Once again, I know that some can do this mentally. Please do not mentally subtract right now. 
go ahead and separate your ones and your tens. And you should always start on the right side. So you read from left to right, you do math from right to left. Eight minus five. There's a couple ways to do this. Hopefully you know that eight minus five is three. But if you don't know that eight minus five is three, you can grab five and count up. Five, six, seven, eight, I have three fingers. Or you can grab eight and subtract. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Either way is fine. One minus nothing is one. That concludes your math for today.